Now let's look at this example. Two capacitors, 6 nanofarad and 3 nanofarad, are connected to this 30 volt battery in this arrangement. Find the equivalent capacitance for this combination and the voltage across each capacitor and the charge on each capacitor. To find the equivalent capacitance, we can use uh, this equation right here. 1 over C equivalent equals to 1 over C1. I'm just going to keep the nanofarad as the unit. So it's 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3, which gives me 1 plus 2 over 6, 3, 6, uh, 1 half. But 1 half is not my equivalent capacitance because this is 1 over C. So I'll have to flip this over and get C equivalent, that is 2. Because my unit was nanofarad, that means this must be 2 nanofarad. So the equivalent capacitance is 2 nanofarad. Because when two capacitors are in series, they get the same charge. So I can first find the charge on this equivalent capacitor. Q equals to CV, and I'm looking for the charge on the equivalent capacitor. So this is 2 nano times 30 volts, which gives me 60 nanocoulombs. When we use capital C as a unit, that is the unit for charge, coulombs. When we use C as a symbol, that is a capacitance, C because the two capacitors in series should get the same charge. That means uh, this is also the Q1 and uh, the Q2, which means uh, we can find the V1, the voltage across the capacitor C1. That is uh, Q over C. That is Q1 divided by C1. The Q1 is uh, 60 nano. The C1 is 6 nano, so the voltage across this first capacitor is uh, 10 volts. And we can also find the voltage across the second capacitor, and that's uh, Q2 over C2. Q2 is also 60 nano. C2 is uh, 3 nano, so this will give us uh, 20 volts. Remember that the two capacitors in series share the voltage. Together they share 30 volts. So when we find the V1 and V2, they should add up together to be 30 volts. Another way to find the voltage and the charge for each capacitor is to use ratio. Because the two capacitors are in series, they get the same charge. And the Q equals to CV. If they get the same charge, that means the one with the larger capacitance gets lower voltage. These two, they are inversely related. And since the capacitance now is 6 to 3, which is 2 to 1, that means their voltage must be the inverse of that, 1 to 2. So the 6 nanofarad will get a voltage that is one-third of the 30 volts. One-third times 30, 10 volts. Once we get the voltage, we certainly can find the charge, which is C times V. 6 nano times the voltage, that's 10, so 60 nanocoulombs. The 3 nanofarad, since the voltage is 1 to 2, the 3 nanocoulombs gets two-thirds of the total voltage, 30 volts. Uh, this gives you 20 volts. And again, Q equals to CV. 3 nano is the capacitance. The voltage is 20. And that gives us uh, 60 nano coulombs. Of course, we didn't have to bother to redo this because we know they get the same charge. So if this one's 60, the other one must be 60 as well. What if I ask you to find the charge pumped by the battery? Since the capacitors are in series, they all get the same charge. It's the same charge that's pumped by the battery. So the charge pumped by the battery equals to Q1 equals to Q2 equals to the charge on the equivalent capacitor. So this is 60 nanocoulombs. 
So this battery has 30 volts, meaning the positive terminal has 30 volts higher potential than the negative terminal. Once the capacitors become fully charged, no more charges would be pumped onto the plates. No more charge flow, which means that the circuit now is in a static situation. Because the positive terminal of the battery is connected to this plate with a metal wire, it's like this whole thing is one piece of conductor, and the piece of conductor in a static situation should have the same electric potential throughout the whole thing. So this plate should have the same electric potential as the positive terminal of the battery. And uh, for the same reason, that other plate should have the same electric potential as the negative terminal of the battery. Since the positive terminal of this battery has a potential that is 30 volts higher than that of the negative terminal, if I say this negative terminal has a voltage of 0 volts, then the positive terminal should have 30 volts. And this plate has the same t voltage, 30 volts. And because the potential difference across this battery is 10 volts, and the positive plate has a higher potential than the negative plate, that means uh, the negative plate here must be 20 volts. And uh, these two are connected together, one piece of conductor, so this one also has uh, the same 20 volts. And the potential difference across this capacitor is 20 volts and the positive plate is 20 volts higher than the negative plate. Therefore, over here, it's back down to zero volts. And this plate and the negative terminal should have the same voltage. Voltage is relative, relative to whichever level we choose as ground. So if we make this potential at the negative terminal 200 volts, then the voltage over here would be 230, 220 and 200. Another thing I would like to mention for capacitors in series is that the more capacitors we have in series, the more we add over here, the bigger this part, and therefore the smaller the equivalent capacitance. So the equivalent capacitance 2 nanofarad over here is less than the smaller of these two. And the more capacitors we have connected in series, the smaller the equivalent. When we connect these two capacitors in series, it is kind of like having larger plate separation. The larger the D, the smaller the C. So the more capacitors we have in series, the smaller their equivalent.